you know, just thinking about like the that subject matter of the Mothman prophecies and these sort of experiences that we have, like those people that said they witnessed this thing, and then you have this investigator trying to prove that with all of these anecdotal uh, these stories that people are telling and everyone has a similar like archetype that they're ta- talking about. Like I saw this thing, it looked like this, it had this feeling to it. And th- you know, they all could be hallucinating, but there's something, there's like a pattern there and mm-hmm. people are trying to explain that and they're trying to connect it. And then there's this sort of quality to that where it's unreal and real at the same time. And it's like that space, and I think film actually does a, and I'm sure literature and books do this as well. But I think with film, I, I, I um, I'll bring up a filmmaker that I've really liked over the years, um, who's obviously now a cult filmmaker at this point, David Lynch. Um, cool. you know, and he's obviously very well known, but he's an he's an art filmmaker. He he makes really oh. surreal stuff, and occasionally that dips into the mainstream. But like what I've appreciated about him is that anytime he's been interviewed and they ask him to explain what he made, he just kind of refuses to do so. He just is like, I don't know, what well, what's well, kind of boring. What's the point of explaining what I'm doing here? And his uh-huh. his whole mentality about filmmaking seems to contradict a lot of how mainstream filmmaking is done, which is to have a distinct, you know, narrative with a a a kind of nice and tidy conclusion to all of it and he'll actually take you on a long journey through a thing and then he won't actually give you any answers by the end of it because the point was never to reach a conclusion (laughs) the point was just to give Uh you an experience and to feel something you wouldn't have otherwise been able to experience and that's it that's the point and um i i like that like i i had to come to a place where i'm like that's cool you know I, yeah. mean, I mean, I mean, I mean that, that uh, yeah, no, it's, it, I'm laughing because I'm, it's funny you, uh, you, you mentioned it. I mean, I mean, I haven't, I read the Mothman, I'm, I haven't thought about this book in ages and I, and I read it so many years ago, but I remember when I read it, I thought this is such a fucking Lynchian book. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's such a, yeah, it, it, yeah. Like, like, uh, the, 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 like reading Mothman prophecies, it's like walking through like Twin Peaks. Oh um, yeah. It it, it 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 really is a really kind of like strange book in that sense because everything that Lynch is putting on on the screen I mean that's I mean he's you know I I feel I, I don't know if you saw that the season three of Twin Peaks I but did, what's the yeah. name the Woodsman the Woodsman I mean yeah. I, I feel like everyone's seen the Woodsman somewhere you know like uh, yeah um but um I kind of I kind of lost track what your original intention was with that with that analogy Twin Peaks and uh oh David Lynch right mm-hmm. and how and how he kind of breaches into like this nether world yeah i mean i i feel like i feel like we're all i mean i think that the reason why david lynch might be so popular and with you know and, and he's and he's and i mean i love david lynch yeah um but it might be because he's kind of tapped into this kind of like you know this real unreal that i mean we all kind of know this nebulousness this liminality Mm-hmm. which is definitely something that I'm interested in. Um, yeah. I'm interested in seeing how the numinous kind of enters into phenomena and, and that can happen through, you know, like, I mean, we've all felt exalted experiences, transcendental things, whether it's like in a religious ceremony or going to a concert or just standing in front of a work of art, you know, that that'll it'll do it to you. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I mean, it, it, it's kind of like, there's, I don't know, there, there's, the, there's this, um, Yeah, it's hard to explain, you know, but I have I have actually one one of the people that that we uh published through Evidence House, which is the micro publishing endeavor that that uh Brett C. Walker, photographer artist, and I kind of collaborate on. Um we published this um this this cinema collective out of Mexico called uh, Colectivo Los Ingravidos, and one of the things that they talk about is this idea of shamanic materialism. Mm. Basically, that I mean, I'm I'm gonna kind of like butcher it a, a bit because uh, you know, like the, the, I recommend anyone who's interested in this just to go and watch the works because it's exactly what we're talking about. This idea that you can't really explain it, you know, like their cinematic process is what it is. You know, like their cinematic process is transforming them as much as it is creating these images. You know, yeah. Um, 
and it's and it's this idea that every single thing in the in the material scope you know if you kind of look at it from a materialist point of view that everything kind of emanates from the same sort of source and so, to some degree mm-hmm. um that it if you're react if you're interacting with it it inevitably is creating a sort of an emanation of sorts you know you're em- it's not just like uh you know um sender and receiver there's something you know there's a triad there something that happens when there's an uh when there's that that spark you know there has to be one plus two but then a three comes out in in this case maybe you you can talk about an artwork a film or something but there's an experience there it kind of goes back to what uh walter benjamin would call uh the ritual value of art versus the um exhibition value of art you know like this idea of aura that he would talk about i don't know if you're super aware with it but mm-hmm. basically the idea that aura in, encapsulates the, the the original you know he was talking about it in, ter- in his book the this thing about representation i forget the exact title of the book mm-hmm. uh, art in the age of representation or something like that but mm-hmm. basically that once you produce a, a piece of art whether it's through you know through like copying it or reprinting it or on a screen in our in our computer say today that it, 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 I mean, according to him, you cannot really have that original aura of the original work. You know, so if, if you're watching a Da Vinci right now, you're not watching the real thing. You, you, you cannot possibly capture what he was feeling. Although, what these people, I mean, what Los Ingravidos basically say with their shamanic materialism is basically that everything is kind of like part of a continuum, part of a process. So mm-hmm. once you make the work of art, it doesn't matter how you how you experience it, how you process it, how you digest it, it's still having, like, I, I don't know if legacy or residue would be the word, but you know, there's yeah. something that's still alive in there that you can, and especially if you do it with that intention from the very get-go, you know, yeah. if, if you're conjuring this thing and, you know, with a camera, especially, you know, in the realm of so-called documentary nonfiction, if you, if if you don't write something preordained, you know, if you just arrive and, you know, you're using the, you know, everyone knows that when you point a camera at them, something happens, you know, when a camera is pointed at you, you become a little bit more aware, you might brush your, you know, like people yeah. always do something when the camera, is, you know, but basically taking that and pushing it to a next level where it's like, okay, I can use the camera. You know, it's, it's interesting work, I'll say the least, you know, like there's things that can be done in that kind of realm. And especially if the subject is a co collaborator like it opens up an entire realm of possibilities you know 